Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to my NETSEC YouTube channel. Um, this is Johnny. Um, in today's topic, I'm going to talk about uh, IBM Guardian Gene Client configuration changes, how to change your IBM Guardian IP address in a Gene Client configuration. So right now, in my configuration, I have MSQL MySQL database server 172.23.1.12 pointing to Guardian collector 172.23.1.29. I would like to change this to our central manager, Guardian central manager 172.23.1.28. Let me show you settings here first this is our dot 29 which is our character you can see this manager device managed by 172.23.128 to look line status you should be able to see this machine pointed to 172.23.129 and on our central manager in client status yes already have two machines but the, yes already have two machines but both of them reporting to 172.23.128 so s tab windows s tab is pointed to character 172.23.129, that's correct. You won't be able to change that as tab, but gene client, you should be able to change it to 28. At this moment, it's pointing to 29 for this machine. 51 sec to SICP01, and uh, it's not showing here. We already have other database service point to here. Now we're gonna move this guy to here. Uh, first thing we're gonna go to our machine 172.23.1.12. Um, we need to stop the service. We need to log in with account as administrator's permission so you can stop the service. This is our gene service, it's running. Just stop it. Now we're gonna go back to our C drive, program file, x86 folder. We're gonna find out the IBM Guardian, Guardian folder, gene folder. And then we're gonna go to gene and then current. It keeps all configurations. There's one file called conf. Conf it's here, so we need to open notepad. Okay, great. There's a URL called Jim URL. Got a port. Actually, we can search for it. Okay, this is a command gene URL. So we need to change this from 29, 28. Don't forget to save the file. Close it and start configuration, start a service. Minimize the RDP session. Go back here. And then refresh. It may take a couple of minutes to get this change taking effect, but you are able to see it right away from here. So as long as you start a service, then it immediately changes to here. Even the character still 
keep those information here, but eventually it's gonna be deleted after half a time. So that's it very simple changes, couple of steps. Let me write down. Stop team service on team client server. Go to the path. Add the file call search team URL and change IP from one seven twenty three to one twenty nine to one seven twenty three to one twenty eight manager. Actor. If I now Here's all the steps, simple and easy. That's all for today's videos. Thank you for watching.